Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Jensen, and I'm running to be the next governor of Minnesota. We need to have a serious conversation about public safety because clearly there's a lawlessness that's crept over Minnesota like never before. And Minneapolis, St. Paul, our epicenter, ground level zero, and this is on Tim Walz. Let's just talk about what's happening when it comes to safety. First off, crimes are occurring like never before. Some 775 carjackings in 2021, record numbers of murders, unbelievable. So. The crime is committed. What happens next? The cops do their work. Let's take an example. Jacob Gunn. Three months ago, his situation was prosecuted. A while back, he decided to plug a Denali with his gun three times. Driver's door, passenger, tailgate. A one and a four year old are in there. Thank the good Lord that they weren't hurt. So he's up for 17 years and two felony charges. And about three months ago, the courts step into the triangle. And what do the courts decide? The prosecuting attorney and the liberal judges, many of whom have been Tim Walls appointees over and over again with no accountability. You've never heard Tim Walls chide them or encourage them to do what they need to do. But what did the courts decide? The prosecuting attorney and the judge decided to plea bargain that 17 years down to four months. And then the judge came in and said, we're gonna have you do it on house arrest and work release. Where is the deterrent? What's missing here? Two players. One, the victim. The victim and the criminal. So let's talk about that. What happens here? You got the victim and what they're doing is they're getting victimized over and over again. The crime occurred and they were victimized. The cops did everything they could. The court stepped in and undermined the entire process. And then the victim has to deal with that crime for there on after. And the aftermath is significant. I see these people in the office. They're my patients. But let's look at the other one. We've done nothing for the criminal. When we don't enforce the law, we aren't able to help that criminal rehab their life. They're not getting anything out of this. You know what's going to happen and the statistics show it. They're going to bounce right back out onto the streets. They're going to do more crimes, more violent repeat crimes. The system isn't working. And Tim Walls doesn't get to come out two years after supporting Elon Omar and say, oh, I do support cops. No, Tim, you haven't. In June of 2020, you did not support the cops. And two weeks after the riots were over, Elon Omar came out and said that the cops were a cancer. They needed to be defunded and dismantled. And a few weeks later, you came out and doubled down with Elon Omar saying to Minnesota, this is the person that we need to elect to represent us in Congress. Tim Walz, you have done nothing but allow these conversations to go helter skelter, defund the cops, dismantle the cops, they're a cancer. And now you want us to think that you actually are pro-cop? We're not buying what you're selling because it's a lie. It's a bare-faced lie. And over and over again, the victim is on the short end of the stick. And if you don't feel safe, you aren't safe. And Tim Walls is not committed to making you feel safe.